you know, I think I'm on this uh, panel to to represent not just a the male perspective, maybe, but also a previous generation, uh, a generation that did not grow up on, with porn. Uh, I mean, we found it, but we had to work to find it, right? You had to work to find it. Uh, reel to reel, reel to reels, uh, and and magazines and things like that. It wasn't just available at a click of a button. Mm-hmm. Uh, it wasn't just everywhere. And of course. Um, no dating apps. So uh, I, I've never used one. I, I have no idea how they work. Uh, I know, I guess, through my kids. But, um, uh, you know, you actually had, as you said, Miriam, to muster up the courage uh, to go and ask a girl out. And uh, for all of us, teen years, or at least for most of us, teen years are difficult. And doing that was difficult and hard. It, it, you know, I'm I'm tempted to say it's easier now that you have apps and you can do it digitally, but I don't really know. I suspect it's it's uh, it, it's always hard courtship and relationships and finding somebody and figuring out who's right and who's wrong and the fear of being rejected and uh, the the building up the confidence. All of that is probably just as difficult today as it was back then, and and uh, will probably be that in in the future. So. I, I don't know to what extent with regard to dating apps, it's really had an impact. Uh, it, you know, we always, no matter what the issue is, we've always blamed technology. I mean, again, I'm dating myself, but but people used to complain bitterly about kids who were growing up watching television all the time and how awful that was making them asocial and, and uh, undateable. And they never left the house and never asked anybody for a date. And, you know, those kids survived somehow and they, they grew up and they, they did OK. So uh, blaming technology is always an easy out. And I suspect is probably not true. I mean, with regard to porn, I, I think there are two aspects of porn. There is a certain fantasy, but there's also an element of education, again, coming from maybe a generation where we didn't know much about sex. Certainly not kind of the kind of sex that t- today you can get access to it at a, at a fingertip. And there's a sense in which that was not very good. Um, and there's a sex, there's a sense in which porn educates us a little bit about, I mean, I, my generation was probably much more repressed and uh, about sex and about preferences and about experiences and about what we like and what we don't like and, and experimenting and so on. And I think pornography at least exposes us to the variety and 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 teaches us about what's possible and and maybe maybe yeah maybe we'll try some of those poses and it turns out that nah they don't work but of course there was always you know I remember uh, buying it you know what was it the book the Kama Sutra book right I mean that has many of those poses and they don't work they, you know maybe they work but they don't they're not very pleasurable uh, so there's always been a desire to figure this out and to. Uh, increase pleasure and find what works and what doesn't. And I think that kind of exploration is a good thing. People should go out there and, and, and try and, and discover and figure out for themselves. But there is also a downside to porn, I think. When you confuse fantasy with reality or when you use the fantasy to replace reality and you, 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 you replace uh, masturbation and pornography to replace actual relationship and actual intimacy and actual sex, or even the one night stand. And I'm not, you know, I don't want to come out as I'm against one. I, 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 my, my previous comment was about that's all you do. You do that all the time, right? Uh, you know, once in a while. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's a lot of fun. Um, but if, if, if you don't want to go out there, you don't want to try, you don't want to actually engage because you're getting some simulated replacement through pornography and through masturbation, if it replaces intimacy and if it replaces dating and relationship, and ultimately we haven't talked about love, if it replaces love, I don't know what a fulfilled life is if it doesn't have relationship and love and sex. I I think people are missing out to the extent that they are becoming, that they're replacing it with some fake fantasy. Again, it's a there are opportunities out there and it's, it's, it's to learn about those things and it can be obsessive and it can be, and again, it can replace the real thing. And that that's a tragedy if it happens. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. 
show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.